five most disturbing YouTube rabbit holes. Back, Back in 2019, 2019 a user named Raul made a disturbing, disturbing post that would go on to be shared over 20,000 times and receive tens of thousands of likes and reactions. The post was originally made in Spanish, so you'll have to bear with me if the translation isn't perfect, but hopefully you'll get the main idea. The post was titled Anuncio Inteligente, which translates from Spanish to Smart Ad, and it read, Something super strange just happened to me. I was watching YouTube videos on my smart TV when suddenly an ad appeared, as usually happens on YouTube. I was about to skip it when I suddenly saw this ad lasted more than 5 hours. I was really surprised and told my dad to come so he could see how long it lasted. I took a picture while I waited for my dad to arrive. The girl in the ad kept on talking and when my dad arrived she turned her gaze toward him. Even my dad jokingly said that she was watching him. Okay, that's kind of creepy. My dad and I stood in front of the TV, the girl fell silent, and we felt like she was looking at both of us. Oh. We kept thinking it was impossible for her to see us. It wasn't a video call or anything like that, it was just a simple YouTube ad. It was simply impossible for her to see us. We laughed at how silly it all sounded. The girl kept on talking, but suddenly she got closer to the screen and we started to feel a bit scared and uncomfortable. My dad wanted to test if she was watching us, so he said the word Changa a few times, and that's when the unthinkable happened. The Asian girl said Changa. At that moment, we got scared and I looked for the remote to skip the ad. My dad and I decided that we were very tired. It had been a long and tiring day, but we still couldn't ignore what had happened, so we turned off the TV. My questions are, what the heck just happened? Is this real? Do TVs have cameras? If so, then I think it's possible for them to watch you. And lastly, was YouTube hacked? This incident scared both my dad and me. If anyone has gone through something like this, I'd like to hear your story. This was mine. Yo, you think people can hack into your camera? Dude, I do. I think people can hack into your camera and look at you, but I'm like paranoid, man. Although the original post has since been deleted, it's been reposted a few times by Mexican broadcasting networks on Facebook, which has allowed a few YouTubers and Redditors to keep the story alive for five years as of the uploading of this video. Hi. From the moment it was uploaded, the post received pretty much every kind of reaction you can imagine. From those who called Raul out for lying on the internet to get attention, to those who claimed they had been through something similar and everything in between. As for whether the post was real or not, five years after the original upload, it's still anyone's guess. I mean, it's not uncommon for people to place two to three hour long ads on YouTube. As for how effective these ads are at converting viewers into buyers, I can't really say, but the- Bro. Look. How in the f*** are you gonna watch an ad over four hours? Viewers into buyers, I can't really say, but the fact remains that it's technically possible Raul really did good. see a five hour long YouTube ad back in 2019. One thing that many Reddit users were quick to point out, however, is that YouTube ads need to be uploaded in a specific format to be accepted and rolled out by the platform. And it goes without saying that a five hour long live call where the creator of the ad spies on the viewer and interacts with them would violate pretty much every single law and regulation out there. Still, that in itself is probably not enough information to officially label Raul's post as fake, as he was apparently not the only person who complained about this kind of thing happening to him that year. Through my research, really? I found several Redditors who pointed out that they had seen similar posts by other users on Reddit crop up sporadically in 2019, where people claimed they had been shown an unusually long ad that appeared to interact with them in real time. Have you guys ever experienced that? An ad interacting with you? I've never even heard of this until now, but I don't really see ads. Like, I don't see ads on any platform. If the allegations are true, it's possible that what happened to Raul could have been a part of a massive hacking epidemic targeting smart TVs rather than YouTube itself, which the hacking of smart TVs isn't that uncommon. It's actually not that hard for a hacker to gain access to your smart TV's microphone and camera through certain malware, which is why if you look deep enough online, you'll find literally hundreds of complaints by users who claimed they were spied on through their smart TVs. Disturbingly, some users have even mentioned that hackers have blackmailed them through their smart TV, threatening to expose private footage of them to the world if they don't comply with their demands. Now this I've heard of. We've seen other videos where people do this. But coming back to the smart ad story, this also doesn't necessarily- Yeah, the smart TV hacks are actually real. ...mean that the post was real, and to this day, hundreds of Redditors have assumed that Raul was probably just straight up lying for clicks and attention. Unfortunately, because the post and so many of the original comments have been deleted, we'll likely never know. I mean, still, that's interesting. Do what? Do what? Portishead is a trip-hop band from Bristol, UK that was formed back in the 90s. Some of their music videos on YouTube have gone pretty viral, with one of them even getting close to 40 million views since it was uploaded in 2016. 
But over the years, there's been one particular music video that's become the subject of a ton of speculation and drama on YouTube and Reddit, and probably not for the reasons you might think. The music video in question is for the song titled Only You, and at first glance, there's nothing too okay. different than what you'd probably expect from a band of this genre. But if you scroll down far enough into the comments section, I've never heard of this band. But if you scroll down far enough into the comments section, you'll find something a little strange. A user named Do What made thousands upon thousands of comments on this single video over several months starting in December 2018. Sometimes Do What would comment hundreds of times in a single day. What, the what immediately fuck? comes off as weird is that most of the user's comments appear to be random, angry rants directed toward a particular person or group of people. Sometimes it even looks like he's having a long, drawn-out conversation with himself through a YouTube- <laughs> Real talk. This sounds just like Lionel. <laughs> Literally exactly. ...comment section. I can't include some of the comments because they get pretty explicit, but you can probably get the idea just by looking at a few of them. One of them reads, Heaven, yeah sure, and yet you still left me here. Well, you won't be going back and I sure as hell won't take you there. Another one reads, Nothing you say or have said means a damn thing when you spoiled evil demons live the way you do, period. At first, none of the comments seemed to make any sense, but after reading a lot of them, I realized there was a pattern. Although a lot of the angry rants are pretty vague, and a lot of them do what appears to be directing his or her anger toward the band and the music video itself, often claiming that the whole idea behind the songs and videos that made the band this isn't unusual for old videos. The changes YouTube did with the comment section over the years jumbled up old comments with new ones. Oh. Rich were music video itself, often claiming that the whole idea behind the songs and videos that made the band Rich were stolen from Do What, who allegedly ended up getting no credit at all. Again, I can't include those due to the language, but some have suggested that this is the main reason why the user chose this particular video to dump thousands and thousands of angry comments on. So weird. As you can probably guess, a lot of people have tried to interact with Do One over the years, leading to some pretty disturbing conversations in which the commenter claims he's some sort of interdimensional being with the ability to speak to people on different timelines, or something like that. <laughs> Even though most of his comments are pretty difficult to understand, in a few of them, do what has repeatedly claimed to be a female, living in a homeless shelter, and to be receiving messages from some sort of godlike creature who is guiding her to save humanity from destruction or something. Due to how often do what was posting back in 2018 and 2019, many people have suggested that the only way it's possible for so many comments to be coming from a single account is if do what was a bot. But others have claimed that because Duwat has edited their comments, the bot theory might not be the answer. As hard as it is to believe, everything seems to point to the fact that every single one of these comments was written individually by a real person, which has made a lot of people suggest- I believe that 100%. I believe that an individual person can definitely do all this. Yes, ...that the one of these comments was written individually by a real person, which has made a lot of people suggest that the user might be suffering from a pretty severe mental illness, mm -hmm. or was simply looking for attention online and willing to go to extreme lengths to get it. But for why, we don't know. Other people have speculated that the whole do what mess was perhaps the band Portishead's attempt to bring more attention to their music video through an alternate reality game or ARG. But because do what started posting comments on the video more than three years after it was uploaded, this is pretty unlikely. If this was an ARG, then it's brilliant because obviously it did its job. After posting threads upon threads of aggressive, rambling comments, Do What's original account was taken down a few months later, but the comments section on Portishead's video it didn't get any less strange after that. Okay. Shortly after Do What went quiet, other accounts started cropping up and posting a ton of angry comments in the same tone and style as Do What. But because most of them only posted 20 to 30 times in total, whereas Do What usually posted a few dozen times a day, it's likely that these new accounts were just copycats trying to get attention. A couple of the newer accounts though, namely Tracy-PV5CL and MebWhatever5413 are suspected to belong to the original Do What. Still, after so many years and so many comments, it's unlikely we'll find a solid answer to what the purpose of all this is. Sad Satan in 2015, a channel by the name of Obscure Horror Corner uploaded a series of videos featuring a playthrough of a horror game called Sad Satan that up until that point was never heard of before. The game itself is very strange, with a first person character walking down dark, narrow hallways while some distorted audio plays in the background. 
At random points throughout the game, the player's screen gets invaded by random images, and overall it's a pretty dark and hard to understand game. In the months following the original uploads, the videos started gaining quite a bit of popularity, until eventually the blog and gaming reviews website Kotaku decided to interview the owner of the obscure Horror Corner channel. In the interview, the channel owner mentioned that he first came across the game when an anonymous user provided him with a download link, which had allegedly come from the dark web. Shortly after, the owner of the Obscure Horror Corner's YouTube channel provided the download link to the Sad Satan game in a Reddit thread. However, several Redditors immediately called him out for providing a fake link, after which he claimed he gave away a fake link because he didn't want to be responsible for the real game being played by anyone, as it supposedly contained some very violent, dark, illegal, and disturbing images. While this was all happening, an anonymous 4chan user claiming to be the guy who gave the original Sad Satan link to Obscure Horror Corner revealed what he claimed was the original download link on the post. Disturbingly, this version of the game was stuffed with illegal, graphic content, gruesome gore, and viruses that allegedly made people's computers behave oddly and eventually crash permanently. Unfortunately, many users fell into the trap and apparently messed up their computers beyond repair. After the two links were spread everywhere online, a lot of people were left wondering where the footage from Obscure Horror Corner's channel had even come from in the first place. Oh my god. The most crazy. widely accepted theory nowadays is that Obscure Horror Corner probably made the game himself to bring more attention to his channel, and that the 4chan user made a corrupted copy to distribute illegal graphic material and mess up people's computers for no reason. It goes without saying that the illegal images the 4chan user included in the corrupted version of the game could have easily come from the dark web, as they would quickly get taken down if they were posted anywhere on the surface web. If you're going to go searching around the internet for more information on this rabbit hole, all I can say is whatever you do, do not click on any download links on random online forums. Intel said 708 February 15, That's creepy. 15 1996. Back in the 90s, an American company named Space Systems Loral built a state-of-the-art telecommunications satellite named Intelsat 708, which contained some pretty sophisticated and sensitive communications and encryption technology. After it was built, the satellite was transported to China to be launched in 1996. During the launch preparations, it was agreed between the US and Chinese governments that Intelsat 708 would be launched into orbit from the Zichang Satellite Launch Center using China's Long March 3B launch vehicle, which was one of the world's most powerful rockets back then. It was also agreed that the launch would be broadcast live in the US. Just a little before 3am on February 15th, 1996, the satellite was launched, and what happened next was nothing short of a tragedy. Just two seconds after the launch, the satellite started veering horizontally, taking a completely different trajectory than it was supposed to. Holy f a few seconds later, the rocket crashed in a residential area, where many of the launch center's employees and other civilians lived. Shockingly, the crash caused an explosion that was reported to be equivalent to around 50 tons of TNT. Immediately, the Chinese military and members of the Loral security team were deployed to the crash site, and this is where things started Holy. to get a little weird. According to eyewitnesses, the Chinese military roped off the area immediately and didn't allow any Americans to approach the site until much later. In the aftermath of the crash, official figures in Chinese newspapers alleged that despite the massive explosion, only 6 people had died and 57 had been wounded, claiming that the death toll had been pretty limited because most of the people had been evacuated from the area before the launch. Okay, so a couple things here. One, if that's true, considering what happened, only what, like six people died, that number is low. But here's another thing. Why were people evacuated? Like, I guess just for safety? It's almost like they knew that something bad could have happened. Still, based on the sheer amount of destruction, this death toll has always seemed unlikely to the US government, which suspected the Chinese military of cleaning out the crash site to hide the true death toll and to recover the satellite's oh. sensitive encryption and communications technology. Yeah. After American members of the Loral security team were finally allowed to comb the crash site, many of them returned home complaining of bulging eyes and splitting headaches caused by the toxic fumes released by the oh. explosion. Despite the large-scale impact of these events, it's one of the lesser-known tragedies, likely due to the massive cover-up by the Chinese government. One of the only recordings left of it was uploaded to YouTube by a user named Fred V and has received only around 170,000 views since 2019. In the video, you can see the crazy amount of destruction caused by the crash in the village of Malin, with both American and Chinese voices narrating the damage. 
Strangely, at the end of the footage, the entire video takes a weird turn where you can see a clip of a woman who says her name is Janet Ship, and then in order to help her viewers prepare for their trip to China, she's going to ask a few simple multiple choice questions. Hello, my name is Janet Ship, and in order to prepare you for your trip to China, we would like you to take this simple multiple choice quiz. Remember, there is only one correct answer for each question. Ready? Here we go. This is a picture of A, it's a, a creature found in nearby hills. <laughs> what? B, dinner. <laughs> C, a Hughes technician. Dinner, bro! Why does this remind me of Gemini, home entertainment? A Hughes technician? <laughs> okay. We're going to go with A. These guys should score a point in horseshoes. A, in 30 to 40 minutes. B, when Mabuhai launches. I searched pretty. When Mabuhai is ready to launch next leap year. What? Deep, but there doesn't seem to be any explanation online for the quiz at the end of the crash video. It's all just a really weird combination of clips. I mean, it's pretty jarring to have such a shocking video end with a woman asking weird questions with happy music in the background. What the f? Have were such these a shocking video end with a. Please pass the eyeballs. Please pass the intestines. Please pass the testicles. No, no, no. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. What was this thing called? Intel set. Hold on. Prepare you for your trip to. Oh my God! We found the quiz, dude. All right, we're gonna watch it after this with happy music in the background, and your guess is as good as mine as to what the last part of this video is even about. Unfortunately, the comments were turned off for this video, and not a lot of people know about it in the first place, so who knows if we'll ever find out why the video ends like that. 00390 Okay. 00390 is an extremely strange YouTube channel that's been up since 2015. Even the description in the channel's about section is a little unusual. The text is written in both English and Italian, and it reads, <sighs> Someone said testicle bottom left. I don't get it. Do you? There. I read it. Yay. He read it. Got his ass. Do not subscribe. You bother me. Do not offer me money for affiliation or visualization or other. I am not interested. At best, offer me some typical food of your country. What? Below this text, there's another phrase that translates roughly from Italian to I like cold girls, but alive. Despite the owner's efforts to scare away subscribers, 00390 has over 50,000 subs as of 2024, and that number is probably only going to keep growing if he continues to upload disturbing, attention-grabbing content as he has up until now. The videos on the channel range from strange experimental art videos to first-person footage of a cameraman following woman on the street to disturbing images of women being held hostages while creepy audio plays in the background the to gross fuck? cooking videos. Due to the creepy nature of so many of the uploaders' videos, many viewers have come together online to try to find an explanation for the channel, which has resulted in some pretty wild theories being spread all over the internet. According to one of the most popular ones, the channel's owner is a suspected serial kidnapper who drives around the street looking for potential victims, which would explain why there are dozens of videos on the channel where he appears to record women on the streets against their will, with some of them looking visibly frightened at the guy. Based on what I found, That's there so isn't really weird. a solid conclusion for the channel's meaning. It's possible that this is just the product of an artist expressing himself with some sort of ARG attempt, or that there's really something more disturbing going on. Whatever the case, if the guy isn't a kidnapper, he's not exactly helping his case by uploading videos like the ones he has up until now. Dude, this video was awesome. This is like one of his like best videos, man. Let's watch the quiz. To China, we would like you to take this simple multiple choice quiz. Remember, there is only one correct answer for each question. Okay. Ready? Here we go. This is a picture of A, a creature found a. in nearby hills. You B, must dinner. answer. C, a Hughes technician. These guys should score a point in horseshoes. A, in 30 to 40 minutes. B, when Mabuhai launches. Or C, next leap year. Okay, A. 
When you wake up in the morning, you have to open your hot water valve and let it run. You should get hot water A in 30 to 40 minutes, B when Mabuhai launches, C by next leap year. What? This man is overjoyed because A, he is proud to be with the Laurel team. B, his wife just had a baby boy. C, he got the last bottle of five-star beer. Dude. This is a picture of A, a city dweller, B, a ye person, or C, a Hughes program manager. What is a the Luigi from Mario? This man is writing A, wise sayings, B, happy new year slogans, or C, long march launch procedures. Long march? Dude, this is so weird. This statue represents A, the first Chinese to test rockets, B, homage to a Yi emperor. What is this? The emperor. The... Dude, what is this? C. Tribute to the Flying Men. These men are under this sheet because A. <laughs> dude, no, this, this reminds me of that meme. This reminds me of this, dude. You have these two people and they're like, oh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of, dude. <laughs> A. They are worried about secure software. B, they are checking up on power procedures. C, they found some new JPEG files. What in the f is going on, man? By splicing these wires together, these men hope to A, improve their test equipment, B, check bad relays, okay. C, launch the Long March rocket. This booth is A, a device for cleaning technicians, B, vital to gantry operations, or C, a Chinese orgasmatron. Or what in the f is an orgasmatron? Translating what this man is saying from Chinese to English is A, gosh, this sure is heavy. Oh, okay. B, I hope I get some help real soon. Or C, turn the camera off, round eye. What the f round eye? Cylinder is A, a satellite shipping container, B, I-708 going to top of rocket, or C, one big kegger for XSLC. This is an example of A. Look, man, I'm sorry, but this is probably like some type of safety procedure. And don't get me wrong. Like I like if I was in this situation, I would clearly want someone to hold me, you know, for safety. But because I'm also a very immature man, I'm going to laugh at it. <laughs> safety in China. B. Balance in China. C. Sexual harassment <laughs> in China. <laughs> this, this is this okay all right no 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 this is peak right here man dude this video is like 10 out of 10 react content these men are a moving the handling dolly b heroic xslc workers okay. c chinese air bearings this man's name is a abraham lao how are we going to know his name? B, Aba Lao, or C, Aba Lao, ruler of China. God damn. Yo, I'm going with C on this one. I'm going with C on this one, man. Holy my liege. When at a hot pot party and you want seconds, the correct phrase is A, please pass the eyeballs, B, please pass the intestines, or C, please pass the testicles. Well, now that your test is done, you can hand in your answers to your supervisors. Join us next time when we will show you fun facts of Russia. Take care and so long.